So we're doing something a little bit different now. We've yeah. sort of tempting <laughs> to. We've had. Um, we, we've just sort of been saying, haven't we? It's been the first uh, three weeks of the academic year, three or four weeks, and uh, it's always the most intense. Uh, so we sort of get to this point of the year, and we're quite tired. It's fair to say. Yeah, we look like we were living in a skit. Yeah, don't sort of you, you can you can track the videos we shot when by the bags under the eyes. So uh, we've 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 been busy, and we just want to sort of reflect a little bit, really, don't we? Just kind of a little bit of a catch up and a ramble. We'll yeah, electrical yeah. ramble. We're going to yeah. have. Okay, today. so let's do that. So content wise, both channels. Hopefully, you're following us both. You're yep. following this one, so you're following us on GSH Electrical. We've got Joe Robinson training as well, yep. which we've been tirelessly trying to put content together on, haven't we? Yeah, I think it, again, it's one of those things with that channel where the content's a little bit more. Technical takes a little bit more editing, doesn't it? It, it, does. it? It's a bit of a challenge, so uh, we're working on that, and we've got so lots just, of footage in the bag, haven't we? If I just cut in there, that's why Joe's doing it because it's a more technical and requires a lot more intelligence to produce the content. So Joe's doing that, and when we have to fold the yeah. cable in half, you'll be seeing that that's exclusively on my channel. Yeah, we're doing that. <laughs> Gary's that being just, overly <laughs> modest as always. Um, but yeah, that's that's sort of where we are, isn't it? So so it's on the way. We, yeah. we, we're trying to get a video out a week there on that one. Um, but it, yeah, it just takes a little bit more time, doesn't it? And, and we've got lots of footage shot. It's on the way. Yeah, yeah, we shot some, we shot some footage for the main uh, channels this, this yeah. morning, didn't we? So they're yeah, yeah, yeah. they're just going to edit in. So yeah. we're we're just going to review what we've just been doing in the last three or four weeks. Yeah. We went to the lecture show, didn't we? Had great fun that there, was didn't we? Fantastic. Yeah, really nice CPD. Yeah, yeah really good. Good connections with the industry. Nice to meet people as well when it bumping into yeah. people, and, and as well as we walked around the lecture show and that. But we've. Uh, We've also got some massive student success, which is the most yeah. important in it. So student success being, what was it, four apprenticeships in recent memory. So mm. we've had kick into touch. So we've got... Uh, we've had, so level ones, we've had Josh has gone up to a uh, apprenticeship. And we've has. had yeah, uh, Ben, yeah. which is really nice. And we've had, uh, so that's, that's the level ones, which is great. Because I mean, they've been with us a couple of weeks and they're, they're in yeah, apprenticeships, apprenticeships, which is really nice. Yeah. Level twos, we've had. Yeah, this week, John Castell, I nearly cried. Yeah. I must admit, you I mean I was properly. Well, you've, moved. you've been on an emotional journey with, with those lads, haven't you? you know, you've been yeah. with them for over a year. John left us yesterday, depends when you're watching the, uh, the ramble, but John left us yesterday and I properly had to hold back. He's actually going to a different training provider, mm. which is not necessarily the issue, um, but it means that the control of his learning journey is out of our hands isn't yeah. it? and I was properly moved by the fact that he was physically going to leave us yeah. um, and carry his train on somewhere but else. I think, I think the positive side of that is that actually what we've done is we've put his learning journey, the responsibility for that in his hands and I think I think he's been given the best start and yeah, I think that it, he's probably got to a point now where he's ready to, to take on the learning opportunity in a mature way. And that's that's a legacy, really, isn't it? That's yeah. something that he's taking with him. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, you yeah, will crack on with that. But the rest of my thing is staying with us, aren't they? So we, we, we've moved them from one group into another group. So yeah. they'll complete their yeah. apprenticeship framework or standards, if you've yeah. got to say now. We've got to say standards. standards. You can't say M2. You have to say M2S. All those type of uh, yeah. changes that I find difficult, along with wearing glasses now in a workshop. So uh, feel free yeah. on any video to spot the fact that one yeah. learner isn't wearing glasses because I'm struggling to tell them we're to remember. We're a work in progress. Yeah. yeah, wear glasses at all times. New rule this year. Yeah, one that we're struggling to apply um, moving forward on that one yeah so that's been good and just a general kind of improvement in attitudes I think with the learners we're yeah. seeing we're seeing growth aren't we in them which is nice you know it, it's it's the worst part of the year for us yeah. isn't it it's don't smile till Christmas so of course everyone thinks you're the most horriblest bloke in the world which is fine I don't care if we end thinking that because at the end of the day achievement and success is the most important thing for both of us but it's yeah it's it's that relentless timekeeping's not quite right your attitude isn't quite right it's the the step is it from school yep. to college to work yeah. and we're unfortunately in that trying to get them into that work mentality and yeah. how many times you said in the last three weeks if you were driving to an airport i wouldn't have made the plane because yeah. you don't get me anywhere on time yeah yeah but they're getting there. I think. I think the the message is is sinking in, and that's that's nice. That's what we're working towards, isn't it? Yeah. What yeah. Absolutely. Towards. Along along with the adults as well, trying to turn them around, isn't it? Believing that you can come to college, of course, at night. I suppose there's lots of adults out there watching electrical training videos and all the rest of it. It's very rare that an adult comes in the evening and can actually genuinely call themselves an electrician as yeah. they get an adult apprenticeship. Yeah. And we've had those issues this week. Yeah. I mean, that's not been fun conversations, is it? Trying to explain no. to people that no, but trying to work towards a domestic installer. But yeah, but hopefully, again, they are on a path that can, with enough 
enough graft can get them to where they want to be. You yeah, know. change the lives. Yeah. We've got yeah. adults that are now setting up and working for themselves, mm. um, having done a three-year course with us, and now domestic installers in the real world. Yeah. Uh, they can call themselves an electrician. We always, always say, call yourself a surgeon. Yep. Call yourself an airline Don't pilot. Don't necessarily want you flying the plane, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd just like to say to all the people aboard the plane that I've done a five-year course at college, never actually got behind the wheels of an aeroplane in the real world, but I've called myself a pilot and we're going to have a go. Can Chocks imagine, away. <laughs> can, imagine, can imagine the, the absolute run to the exit so that everyone's trying to get off. Um, and equally, that's the same, that, that you can't call yourself an electrician uh, coming through our evening programme. You have to call yourself a domestic installer. Yeah. But you can call yourself a pilot if you fancy yeah. it as well. So. Um, and just tying that in with, with the uh, release on the channels, the content release this week, we've had the learner journey get underway. Oh, yes. We've had those lads uh, under pressure answering questions, uh, which is just uh, uh, just fantastic to see after such a short period. And that's, that's you know, down to their experience in the workshop and, and what, they're getting, yeah. what they're getting taught. And it's the funniest bit, isn't it? Yeah. Don't, when, you know, you get a student in front of the camera, yeah. you know, they've probably told all their friends and family that the two jobs they want to do, if they're 16, 17 or 18, the two jobs they want to do when they leave school, especially to come to us at college, maybe uh, school life wasn't for them, the two jobs they definitely want to do is that they want to be the person that receives through the post a set of games and they must sit at home for maybe 12 hours a day, it's a long day when you're working in this industry, playing the games and then maybe give them a 10 minute feedback on how those games were and be paid probably what 60 to 100 thousand pounds a year that's their first goal and if they, if they, they don't get that goal do they they fall back on the fact that they're going to be a big youtuber mm -hmm. and therefore own a lamborghini yep. perhaps wrote ashore and then we'll do a video yep. ksi you know perhaps mm -hmm. they'll even fight ksi you know have a, have a little punch up with him make themselves millions of pounds in the process they're their two primary goals and then yep. their fallback plan is perhaps come college see us and maybe yeah. be electricians yeah, yeah. so we're, we're, we're catering for that uh for that third option there, aren't we? Which is good. So the minute they get in front of the camera, that we're actually making the second option become a reality. Uh, and it's lovely, isn't it, to see them standing there trying, you know, wanting to. And we, mm. the, the problem is we can't send out a video a, a week on them mm. and necessarily, um, but they'd like one, a, I suppose, one a day, wouldn't they, is what yeah. they do. We have to obviously yeah. try and you know, manage yeah. the release of those. But every learner wants to star in it, doesn't they? Yeah, they, 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 the we've got a fantastic bunch of lads this year, actually. Um, and again, we still, Still working on on one or two rough edges, aren't we? But yeah. we're up, I'm really happy with it. Yeah. The, the new intake this year. I think they're a great yeah. bunch of yeah. lads. And from my point of view, I've moved, I came here from a different part of Tresham mm. of the business, and I was uh, probably 20 mile away. And th there is a different demographic where we're working now, and there's some stigma to mm. do with the demographic here in the in the part of uh, Northamptonshire we're in. And I haven't found that. That's no. been the best thing about the two years I've been here. I've come here and the learners are just learners. Mm. They want to learn mm. to a certain degree, we know that. And they want to have fun and, and they want to do all the things yeah. that you, you're asking them to do. And uh, it's been amazing because yeah. I thought I'd find it really difficult. I might not have thought yeah. I'd stay for, this is my 17th year, but two years out of the part of Northamptonshire we're currently in. So yeah. that's good. Yeah, it's been good. It's been good. And I think that's helped us both in it. You know, now we're linked up together. Yeah. That we've got, you know, that one goal. I know Matt's not with us at the minute. Matt would be sitting here yeah, yeah. a lot further yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. I think so he looks, looks consider microscopic because he's about five smaller. times the size of us, isn't he? Normally, he's he's a giant amongst men. But yeah, that's why we shove him towards the back of the. I think that's coming out and out takes video three. Yeah, it's it's like, <laughs> microscopic <laughs> Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, look out for that one because there's one Matt. Matt does one absolute gem during yeah. that video. He, what did you say, one yeah. word or two words? Two words and we couldn't. It was just yeah. absolutely in bits. He, he yeah. properly slipped it in. And couldn't just, couldn't uh, record for another five minutes, could we? Had to and when recover. you see it and you, you hear the name we, we say yeah, yeah, several yeah. times, we say this name and then we hadn't made that link and he'd made that link. He just waited, golden. didn't he, for the camera to roll. Golden. Then, yeah, absolute yeah. golden uh, moment. I'm yeah. looking forward to releasing that. But, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, it is, it is good. Um, on a electrical note, we've also been discussing in the staff room things like surge protection, haven't we? And yep. the new changes in the regs on that. Popular misconception is it's is it to protect you from a lightning strike? And we yeah. had that conversation, didn't we? That's yeah, we, people think surges surges created by lightning strike, so yeah. therefore the surge protection yeah. protects you from a lightning strike. It's not true. That's it. No, we, we sat down and we had a proper look at the, the regs on this, and we'll, we'll be releasing a video on this uh, at some point. Um, but we sort of sat down and looked at it, didn't we? We, we were sort of, there's a few things about it that puzzled us, like the, some of the um, 
the risk factors seem to take you in the opposite direction yeah. to what we were expecting, yeah. weren't they? Do you want a big number or a small number? Is yeah. a big number better than a small number? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And we were trying to think, well, surely if you've got a big number, you've got a higher higher risk, but yeah. it turns out not. So we've, we've, we're have we resolving all that, aren't we? It's, yeah. it's, it's making sense. Um, but of course, the, the one thing we need to bear in mind is that if your building gets struck by lightning, surge protection is there to protect against the induced currents that that lightning strike produces, yeah. not, oh, sorry, I should probably say induced voltages, yeah. I guess, yeah. that the, uh, yeah. that the uh, strike will again. present. Yeah, yeah, it's not necessarily about protecting, because we were looking at circuit breaks and thinking, well, how can that handle all the, the energy discharged from a, a direct lightning strike? Well, of course it won't, that's not what it's for. It's about induced voltages in the system from a lightning strike. And again, we'll, we'll, there'll be more on that. And it'll tie in quite nicely with both yeah. of our channels, won't it? Because yeah, we'll have the, yeah. the induced EMF videos and the, yeah, and the actual <laughs> regulation calculations. Don't hold us to it in the comments when in about six months' time. Where are them videos yeah. gone? We're, we're working on them. Got a few more, promise. Uh, and that linked into rural because it seemed odd, didn't it? We were like, well, you're in a rural installation, middle of nowhere. You're more susceptible, might have to put these surge protection devices alongside a, a circuit breaker in a disc board or adjacent to it. Yeah. Well, every single miniature pylon that's along the street, maybe in the high street or wherever you are, where you're picking your feed up in a rural location is another opportunity to be struck mm. by lightning. The transient voltage gets sent throughout that system that's yep. effectively on the surface, isn't it? You can yep. actually see that system increases your risk of electric shock. You go into a town centre, mm. no pylons, yep. you've only got the atmospheric risk of being yeah, yeah. struck if or your if, building is susceptible yep. to it. If you're next to a very tall building or yep. if you are in a very tall building, yeah. Yeah, if you're in a very tall building, you've already got lightning protection, that's not yep. what it's there for. Which that. is going to dissipate the energy from the lightning strike, yep. yeah. So it's, it's a, it's about getting your own mind clear, isn't it, on what, what, what the regulation is actually yeah. doing. Because yeah. again, it's, it's, it, this ties in quite nicely with what I was, another thing I've been doing this week as well, we've been looking at the mathematical stuff. It's a norm, normal size mug is what we've got going no, on no, 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 now. No, no, let's, <laughs> let's, let's address this mug thing, because we've got an issue, because obviously I've got a normal size hand. I'm jumping Gary, in there. Gary thinks my hands are quite big, but yeah. I'm, they're just... So, so to offset that, we've given him an oversized mug, so, so his makes, hand then looks So if normal. you wrap your hand around yours, yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, we've got... Yeah, through that. We've got like a normal, yeah, so it looks like we've got the same size hands now. Yes, that's, absolutely. That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's working. Yeah. I think that's working. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> what are we talking yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've got your surge protection maths. there. So, yeah, yeah maths. Because uh, again, it's, I'm just like, mulling over this this kind of surge protection stuff, and it, it's not just about following the regulation. It's about understanding what the reg what the requirement of the regulation is, yeah. why it's there, what it's protecting against, why complying with it is necessary and a good idea. And it's been similar with the maths that I've been delivering this week. We've been looking at some pure maths in some some of the lessons. We've been looking at some algebra, um, which we're going to keep working on. <laughs> We've been looking at some. We've been looking at some transposition, which I think has actually gone pretty well. Uh, might be one or two learners who disagree with me on that one, but we'll, we'll, we'll circle back around to that. But when we've been doing Ohm's law, you know, we've, we've, we've had Ohm's law on the board, I equals V over R, that's the way we want to remember it. But also what I always try and do is, is make sure that you get below the surface of that formula. Do you know what I mean? Und understand why the V is on the top of the formula. Understand why the R is on the bottom of the formula and understand what changing those factors will do to the overall result and that helps you to understand not just Ohm's law, here's some a, a thing I need to remember, but you kind of understand why Ohm's law works the way it does. And that's, I think that's the, the key thing to improving being an electrician really is, is not just doing it, but understanding why you're doing it. I think that's really important. It goes back to that ethos that we've got where it's not surface knowledge, is it? Mm. We're not trying to pass no. the exam. We are training you to be an electrician mm -hmm. in whichever area you're in, whether you're in the classroom or the, the workshop, in order that you can become the best possible electrician you can. Incidentally, during the journey, you will end up yeah. passing, passing your exams. Exams. Yeah. Yeah, so That will just happen naturally. Yeah. So we could potentially spend two hours perhaps just simply learning the formula. Yeah. Yeah. Perhaps going yeah. a little saying, very interesting reading, VIR, yeah, 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 yeah. there's, that, yeah. there's several yeah. other ruder ones, but yeah. obviously we can't say I'm those. Not familiar with those genuinely, so we <laughs> My evening students will we'll, be we'll save that for, uh, as, we, as we get the, the yeah. um, unfortunately then there's quite, quite happy not knowing yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So um yeah, so that, that that's their journey, isn't it? That it's a journey of greater understanding in order yeah. to pass an exam that seems at a level way below the level you were taken yeah. to. Yeah, which is uh, yeah, I think all, all of our ethos is. So, yeah, it's good. and Matt's underway, and he with his, his testing and fault finding, yep. he's, he's 
Yeah. I think he's mildly encouraged by some of the stuff being carried out in industry. One or two people yeah. need to maybe have picked up a few minor bad habits like we all do, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, on those sort of things as, as well. Yeah. So we've given it a go. We're going to try and do the odd ramble, yeah. I think. Yeah, just it's have nice. a little chat about what's happened in the week. It's a good um, chance for us to have a catch up, isn't yeah. it? So, yeah. um, maybe touch on a little bit of the regs, maybe touch on a little bit of where mm. we're tending our science of principles or either channels going. Um, just over you know, a series of videos. Let's, let's see how these go. We don't expect at this stage, we can yeah. say anything we like because we don't believe anybody is now watching this part. No, no, so, we've so, got so, so far. So, what we might do one time is, is perhaps we can remove <laughs> items of clothing and see if anyone can see that we ended, well, we ended up in boxer shorts or, or briefs. Yeah, okay. But because nobody will ever get to the end of the video, so it's, it's not a problem. So we're gonna we won't be doing that. <laughs> Just want to make that very clear. I think it added another string to the content. No, no, no. no? Okay. I'm not feeling that. Okay, okay. Perhaps, yeah. Perhaps we start with a bag, Do bowl of M and M's. See how many people get to the end of us finishing. Yeah, that's sort of that's yeah, 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 we'll yeah. That. yeah, we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not editing that one out. We're <laughs> going to we'll leave that in. So we've got a choice. Comment in the comment below. <laughs> it won't make any difference. <laughs> Let me assure you. So, yeah, I think, yeah, cashew nuts won't be yeah, any good. I'll be, I'll be nailed the cashew yeah, nuts. Yeah, they'll, they'll be gone in the first minute. The bowl will just be People are thinking that'd be great. Empty, I'll get to yeah. the end of that one minute ramble if he's got to get for a bowl of cashew nuts. <laughs> so, yeah, so just an informal chat. We hope you're enjoying the content that we're providing as a team yep. of three stroke four on yep. GSA Electrical yep. and a team um, of three stroke four on Joe Robinson Training. Yep. You will see all of us appear on your channel at some point yep. um, to, to aid that content yep. as well. And I think as well, just continue with the positive feedback uh, you know we don't mind people pointing out things that we've got slightly wrong um, we try to be pretty careful before stuff's put out yeah. obviously keep it polite you know we're only human um, but also if anyone is still watching by this stage of the video please leave suggestions for future content because you know we're, we're very keen that you know this is valuable for the people who are watching that's, that's and, and I think we can say it. that we'll respond to the first hundred content <laughs> We'll do one of them, shall we? If, we're, if we get, get 50,000 likes at this point, we'll do the M&Ms. And we'll do that, shall we? Yeah, yeah. So if we got to 50,000 likes and I'm doing the next ramble, there will be a bowl of M&Ms here. Yeah, I think that's the best way to suggest it. Sounds good. That's what they all do, isn't it? That's the sort of thing. Is that the thing, is it? Okay. No, I'm not sure. More fun. So we'll work on trying to be more normal during these experiences. Um, we hope you're enjoying the content that we're both providing. 